Hi, I'm Garth McGee with Nolan's Technology. We're here in Palos Verdes on August 19, about to test our new Air Defender wheel, upper wheel fairings on otherwise identical 2018 Cervelo P3s. We have some friends here who've uh, volunteered to help us. So uh, we're gonna find out just how well the Air Defender wheel fairings work against a moderate headwind coasting side by side downhill. We also have a Cipollini uh, road bike in the mix just to, for added comparison. So we're gonna find out what happens. Uh, stay tuned, I hope you watch the rest of this video. Thank you. Here we go. I'm outside. Okay, let's take a little more speed. Okay, gentlemen. So that was a good test. We uh, we noticed that the aero position with the tri bikes made them both uh, a little faster than the road bike. Uh, however, it appeared we had around six to second, six to seven seconds differential on the tri bikes, the two Cervelo P3s. I felt almost deathly unstable. I'm not going to recommend aero bars downhill on Hawthorne for anybody without the aero fender and the spoke pins because I'm a really good bike handler and I felt on the edge of losing control of the bike. And I'm not and I, I felt great. The only time I had to leave the lane was for some, some road debris. Road debris. There's a chunked up asphalt yeah. but, but you really felt that stable yeah. because I was scared myself in the aero bar same position that you have and I've ridden these bikes a lot and then standing here and all kinds of stuff and, and I felt like almost pulling it off on the way down, never quite reached, frankly. I, never reached uh, I didn't want you to know that, yeah. but I was in the aero bars and the bike was like this. Yeah. And the wind was chattery. Garth, that was a different kind of wind than we had before in the testing. That was chattery and I'm not surprised on the road bike, you felt it a little bit. Yeah. And you're kind of new to the cycling too. Right. But that works and you felt it, you felt it all the whole way, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good to know. All right. Successful test. But I don't want you to ride in the arrow position. So I want you to ride the base bar. Okay. And I'm going to ride base bar as well. All right. And we'll see the numbers. Sure because enough. I don't feel that it's safe on Hawthorne Boulevard today for anybody to go arrow bars without that. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, you good? I'm 
good. Seconds. At least five seconds. Yeah, I, mean, I made sure that I was slower than you from the start. If you notice that, I actually held a up, right. more upper position than okay. you and let you get a little gain on me first. And then I went to air yeah. a little over the I really felt like I was slowing down as you were pulling away. I was on. Yeah. Uh, you know. And this is so much more stable. Oh my God. How'd you feel? Um, I felt okay. But you know, I was, I was you were wide on the instead, board. Of, yeah. instead of in the arrow position, yeah. Right. But compared to the arrow position, being wide, was it about equivalent? Uh, or did you feel better even in the arrow bars? I felt better in the arrow bars. Oh shit. So he felt better in the arrow bars on this bike than in the base bar on that bike. Wow. And I There felt were a couple of wobbles coming around. Yeah. Yeah. Coming around those But two. I felt rock solid in this bike. Yeah. You were you were in the handles. We both went wide for safety. Yeah, yeah. Out here. yeah the stability. So summarize for us, what do you we had a six second differential at the bottom of the hill. Right, so at the top, I made sure that it was slower. I actually sat up just a little bit on this one, so he got a little advantage, got ahead of me. And then I went back to the same position with the hands wide. So we were you were actually in front for a moment. Yes. Then when I went arrow, then I started leaving and gain on you. And that's when I went back to the same position as you with knees in, elbows down, because the first bat I didn't even go knees in. But then I went to it, which is more arrow, and equal to you. And I felt st stable, no problem, hands wide, I could do that all day, relaxed, and uh, shoot. You pulled away uh, further at the bottom of the hill. Uh, the winds appeared to get stronger, I assume? Yeah, the wind got stronger. It did, it did. Now, of course, I'm not looking back to see where it is. No. But, but until I get reached but the bottom. Five and, a half, and it reached seconds. the bottom, we yeah. five and a half, six seconds. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And we had six seconds on the previous run in the arrow bar positions as well. So you guys are both about the same weight and aerodynamics, same height, similar, similar height, similar. Yeah. And we rode the same position on identical position bikes. In fact, seat post height, the bar position, the pads, everything was the same. Right. So uh, what's our conclusion? The air defenders the air are working. The defender is safer. Stable and faster. All right, well. And I'm not going to ride arrow bars with anything but something like this downhill. Forget it. Because it just 
too much risk. Not many people ride arrow bars down on the first place. Sure. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming out and doing this test. Uh, it's uh, proven once again that the Air Defenders are a uh, new technology that's beneficial to cycling. I hope uh, many of us enjoy it in the near future. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, and I'm going to be far behind, okay. and so I'm going to film all you guys. And here's how we're going to start. We're going to be at the light over there. We'll, I'll push the button for the crosswalk to go. Then I'll come back up to you guys. It'll be green. We'll all go around the corner. And once we go around the corner, probably Howard will be a little first. So let's start up. We're going to pick up the speed. I'm not going to go real fast right now, Howard, because okay. the real fast will be over there. But pick it up to like 15 miles per hour. We're going to be side by side. And Howard, you're going to call coast, or I'll call coast either way. Okay, ready? Everybody, right foot up. I'm That's your starting position. Or left foot up. And roll. Okay, give a little space. Everybody good? Yep. Now we need to get side by side in one lane space. So about like this. Good. Coast. So everybody stops pedaling. We coast. is fastest yeah. everybody turn around done test hold on car back car back car back and you turn it so we know that bike is just going to destroy us yeah. and that bike even though it's a road bike is, is, is a little faster than the tri bike and i was in the arrow bars i switched yeah. the arrow bars all right good so we're going to figure out i think it's just a um just a zip tie hitting and we'll check, I'll check out the bike. I'll check out the bike to make sure it's all okay. It feels good though. It feels like this actually, what is it? Is this a 51 or a 54? 54. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't. It's a big 54. 54. It's a big Howard, 54. you just destroyed us on that. We already know you're going to blow us away. All right. And basically what we just did already proved the point we needed to prove. So we already did it. Yeah. The real test is coming up. It's going to show how many seconds. That was a good model. And my guess, Howard, is that you're going to be more than 10 seconds faster per kilometer than this bike, Feels which good. is nuts. Yeah. Feels good to win, not just my age group, but... Well, that would take you from about 20th position to first in a race. Yeah. 